What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have something a little different for you guys. I am going to show you how you can potentially make a full-time income selling used car tires. Let's check it out. But real quick, I need you guys to do one favor for me. Let's get this channel to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I couldn't do it without you guys, but let's get back to it. Switched vehicles, we are in a Volkswagen Jetta. I will say that it is very nice to drive a car after driving a truck for so long, and it is also very nice to drive a vehicle with a non-tinted windshield. It really, I guess it really does make a difference. But here I am at a tire dealer, a used tire dealer, when I have an online wheel and tire business, but I need a used tire today. Um, let's go in and get one. Three hours later. Whew. Got the tire. I don't know if you guys have ever been in a used tire dealer who only sells used tires, but oh man, that's an experience. Here's your daily dose of diesel. <coughs> Since I didn't get that earlier. Silver F250 XLT. 6.7 Power Stroke. We've landed back at home. You might have, you might be asking why I had to get a used tire when I could just get a new tire. So here's the reason there. We have a, it's real hard to see, but a screw is in the tire. So that's the car there, and that is an all-wheel drive vehicle. So whenever you have an all-wheel drive vehicle and you have to replace a tire, all the wheels, all the tires have to be in three thirty seconds of each other meaning that they have to be the same diameter so if you have a little less tread on this tire and a little more tread on that tire they are different diameters and that will screw up the drivetrain diameter purposes this tire will be spinning more than that tire because that tire is bigger than this tire so you get the point so basically that was the only option on why we have to go with a used tire because we don't want to put a new tire on because those tires are about half tread and a new tire would have been bigger and it would have thrown everything out of whack so there you go used tire but these guys at this used tire place are making millions there i was i was there for maybe 15 minutes and there were seven people in and out that were getting used tires and you know they range from 50 bucks up to over a hundred dollars and i know that these guys are paying dollars for these tires i mean they might have paid 10 bucks for the tire i bought and i paid 69 dollars out the door for it 69. <laughs> there is more money in used tires than there is in new tires. Let me tell you the if they bought the if they bought the tire for 15 bucks and they sold it for 69. 69. <laughs> that's a $54 per tire profit and that's not including mountain balance. They charge another 20 for mountain balance. And I can tell you that they, on regular general car tires there is not a $54 profit margin. So within the time of me being there for 15 minutes, seven people were in and out and got used tires. Some people, some of them got four tires, some of them got one tire. Let's just call it, I don't know, let's, let's lowball it and call it 14 people an hour are buying, you know, one tire. So 14 people buy one tire every hour, that's $756 profit. They're there on an eight hour day, that's $6,000 a day just by selling 14 tires an hour. The profit margin is huge for used tires. So these guys are killing it. They had a huge warehouse full of used tires. And I mean, you're talking a $54 profit on each of those tires. And that was that's low balling it. There were seven people that were in and out of that place in 15 minutes. And most of those people got four tires. There's people in the waiting room, 
um, waiting on their tires getting mounted and balanced. So let me tell you that the used tire market is huge. And the profit margins are way more than new tires. But you know, I, I don't do general car tires. I do the specialty off-road stuff, big mud tires, custom wheels. That's what I do, I don't do general. But if I were to do general, I'd be driving around buying used tires from all the local uh, auto shops. Used tires in the automotive industry are making people millions. I lowballed those numbers and those dudes are making six grand a day. All right guys, so there you have it. There's a quick little breakdown of what an actual real company is doing. And I actually looked into this company a little bit more and they have a huge eBay site and they actually have another brick and mortar store. They have a whole other warehouse um, on the other side of the city from where their one warehouse was where I was today. Um, so they're probably doing three times the volume because they have two warehouses and then an eBay store. So used tires pretty much, they sell themselves. The people that come in there aren't, aren't tire kickers, they're not price shoppers, they're coming in there to get a tire. You know, if you're going to a used tire dealer, you're, you're gonna go in there to, to buy. You know, you're not gonna really just price check and pretty much, you know, waste time. So here's what you can do. You can go around to, you know, say, say you wanna get started in this business, you can go around to the local automotive shops. The, the small ones, you know, you, know, you don't wanna to go to the big like Pet Boys or, you know, the big like generic repair places <clears throat> because they probably already have deals where we worked up with what they do for their used tires. So you wanna hit the small, local, mom and pop auto repair places, set up a deal with them. Say, hey look, you know, I'll buy all your used tires, maybe make an incentive, say I'll take all of your tires, even the junk ones, but then you gotta figure out how to get rid of them. But that's up to you, you know, go try to set up a deal with all the local little mom and pop automotive repair, repair places and take all of their good tires. How you make money isn't on how you sell them, it's on how you buy them. So you want to buy them as cheap as possible. So that's what you want to do to establish your, your flow of tires. You know, start small, work with a couple, you know, the closest to where you live, you know, figure out the three closest small auto repair, go talk to them, see what they can do for you. Next, you're going to want to set up your business. You're definitely going to want to get some kind of insurance policy because used tires are kind of a warranty issue or a liability issue, put it that way. Um, you know, they, they are a used tire. A lot of these used tire places, they offer a 30-day guarantee on the tire. You know, if, if you sell them a tire and they go down the road, it blows out and they die, you know, that's bad news. So you're going to want to get yourself some kind of insurance policy. Set up a little shop, you know, advertise in the free spaces, you know, hit Craigslist, hit Facebook. Um, get your buddies to tell everyone that you're going to be selling used tires. Used tires sell themselves. All you have to do is to get people to know that you have the tire and, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get calls. When I had used tires in my shop, they were pretty much sold before I would even really waste time putting them on Craigslist. I would have people come to the door and say, hey man, you got any used tires? You know, everyone wants a deal, everyone wants the cheapest thing there, there is. So, you know, used tires definitely sell themselves. So set up your shop, get yourself an insurance policy, figure out how you can guarantee the tire for X amount of days, um, and then start hitting the free advertising, you know, networking, group of friends, family members, Craigslist, those things will get you get you going. The last step to the procedure, sell it, you know, make a deal, you know, figure out, figure out your price points, you know, figure out how much you can get, you know, the most you want to get without scaring people away. You know, you don't want to leave money on the table, but you don't want to be too high where they'll just go buy a new tire. So it's a real cut and dry system here. You know, you got to figure out where you're going to get the tires then you got to figure out, you know, how you're going to sell them, how you're going to cover the uh, insurance side of things. And then you're going to just going to want to sell them, you know, make the, make the business deals happen. Once you get going and once you get a firm grasp on the whole procedure, then it comes time to scale it. You take your exact business plan and you expand. Instead of the local three mom and pop automotive repair places, you go 50 mile radius. Every mom and pop repair shop, you're getting their tires. And then before you know it, you have a couple trucks, you got a couple people working for you, they're driving around every day, picking up tires. You know, you could expand throughout the states. I'm sure the company I dealt with today went around to, I don't know, I'm, I'll, I want to guess at least the tri-state area and picked up tires. I mean, they got they have two warehouses full of tires. I mean, that's a lot of tires. So just off of what I seen there in the short time I was there, which was 15 minutes, there were seven people in and out when I was there. Or all seven of those people at least bought one tire in the time I was there in that 15 minutes. So if they hold that at least, you know, six hours of their eight-hour workday, they're going to make about $4,600 a day that equals about, you know, they probably work a six day work week. I'm sure they don't work Sundays. So that equals about like 1.3 million a year just in 
that one little bit of business that I seen while I was there, if they hold that for at least six hours of their workday. Now that's not including Mountain Balance, that's not including their eBay store, and that's not including their other warehouse where they have walk-ins and all that stuff. So this is a huge business potential. I just wanted to bring this to the table for you guys today because I was there and I thought it was interesting and I thought that it could shed a little light on the situation. It's an easy business to start. All you gotta do is find the tires, get them at a great cost, and then simply sell them. Everyone wants a used tire, they sell themselves. So remember, if you work harder than anyone you know, if you live life to the highest quality, then you are platinum built. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get this channel to 5,000 subscribers. I know we can do it. I hope everyone had a great day. I will catch you on the next video. Peace.